is fuck you, Dad. Welcome to another episode of Fuck You, Dad, everybody. Uh, we have a very special guest today in that uh, we've never met before. Never. So this is a cool way to meet somebody, and it's Riley Cosgrove. Everybody. Hello. I just stalked you on Instagram, and you seem to like be someone who is like kind of good at comedy, so I was like, oh, thank oh you. I should message him because I'm desperate. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. If it, if if me making reels every week gets somebody to think he's kind of good at comedy, I'm that's doing, the new I'm, thing. I don't make reels every week. I'm doing so the, I'm, I'm doing good. something right. You know, know, it's a sickness. I'm just so freaking tired. <laughs> yeah, and it's a lot of like <laughs> petty like computer I'm work. So tired. It's and everything we're trying to avoid by doing comedy, but you can't avoid it. You always you have to do busy computer work no matter what you do. Yeah. And it sucks. And you need but. to get good clip. That's really the hardest part. Yes. Because I've recorded myself part. a jillion times and some of it, like, there's many times I open it and I go, that's unusable. <laughs> yeah, immediately when you're up there, you're like, fuck. No, I, not I, that it's bad. This? I go, like, look at it. Like, I did Sisyphus in February. Yeah. And, like, my head's cut off. Oh, shit. Or the audio's shitty. Yeah. Or someone walks in front of it. There's always a new or, thing in the Amazon cart after you record something. You're like, fuck, I need a yeah. shotgun mic. I need a new lens. I, I got need- some things. But yeah, it's a pain in the ass. You know what's funny is I actually went to college for like video editing and I hate <laughs> yeah, it. I hate yeah, all of it. That's hilarious. I don't want to do it. I remember- it's such I a useful skill. I hope my parents skill. listen to this. Well, they already, my parents already know they wasted a ton of money. Mm-hmm. I mean, they had they wasted a ton of money, ton of money having me, which I'm like- that's what kids why, are. Why did you? Because I'm not having a great time. Well, they're not financial decisions. To have but I remember kid. like doing this program and being like, I don't want to do this anymore. And I was like, I think I'm in too deep. And I'm just going to. How many years in were you? Like two. I should have mm. stopped. Yeah. I did. I knew I was in too deep when I. Well, I was just spending money and then not going to class. And I was like, this. this. I was going to class. I was just like, this is good stupid. For you. And this is not going to get me a job. Oh. Maybe it was like my junior year. So I was so three years silly. in. It is. It would. It would have got you a job. Video editing? I feel like it's everyone Here's needs the other video problem editor. with, I will say, is I was learning on really archaic systems and shit, and that pissed me off. Like uh, 98 When windows? I started my, so I went to college 2011 to 2015, not that long ago. Okay. When I started one of my classes, they still had us film on tape. Oh, wow. Just, just for the fuck of and it? And like, as a 19 year old, I just don't think I knew better. You know what I mean? You were just like, oh, okay. Oh, is this, this how is you how, start? This is how we do it. Yeah. <laughs> and like when I graduated, like, like in, in, in you were in dark rooms and stuff, like actually cutting, st- like cutting film. No, not like oh, that. Okay, but okay. like literally, we would have like a tape, and then we'd go to the computer, and we'd have a machine, yeah. and we'd put the tape in, and then it would go on the computer. Wild. So yeah, I. Uh, what else like did you do in college? Dollars. Were you like sixty Suck grand? Dick and get drunk. <laughs> What was your what was what a your silly like, question? I know, I know. I'm. I, what did I you did, do in college? I also. I mean, where I, did you go to college? I went to North Dakota State University. You ever been there, Fargo? Mm, I've never been to North Dakota. Holy moly! I mean, I had some good times. You know, I learned to. I, I learned my love of marijuana in the most illegal place. Like, that's, yeah, they're so fucking lame up there. I watched a kid get put in handcuffs over a gram. So that was that was pretty terrifying. But. uh no, I, I, I had a good time, but I just, I'm not a school guy, you know? I just couldn't do it. It didn't make any sense to me. I, I can't show up to a thing if you aren't going to make me do it. If you're going to go in front of a class and be like, listen, uh, attendance isn't mandatory. You can kind of do what you want. I'm never going to be there. I'm going to figure out how to, like, bullshit and try to just get away with not going and then taking a test. And that's what I did, and then I got D's, and then I had to get out of there. But Yeah, I mean... um. I'm actually like pretty okay at school. It you have to get me to focus and like, you know, it's funny. I remember there was like some class. My I don't remember, but it was hard. Like, yeah. a part of like the com degree part, you had to do like research and stuff, and it was like research. Did you say the comedy degree? Com communication. Oh, oh, com, 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 yeah. com, com, com. <laughs> so like, at my, so I went to University of Northern Iowa, which is just like Woo! where you at? You and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is very I close. Have, I had a lot of fun. Um, there were people to 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 for sucking dick at you and I. Uh, first of all, there was like, th- well, I did run out eventually. <laughs> but I was um, say the grinder swipe thousand people in Cedar Falls is a okay, nice right. town. Have you yeah. been? No, no, I've never been. To so Cedar don't Falls. fucking judge it. Bitch. I've been to Iowa City and I fucking I love it and I hate it. Uh, I mean, my dad and my parents won't even let us go there. They're like, no. 
Oh, that's was that too rambunctious for yeah, them? Yeah, they were the ju- Hawkeyes. Well, my dad went there. They love Iowa. That's like the, the whole part of this. But Ugh. I think he, my dad was just like, you know what? You don't need to go there. You guys are like gonna be wild. And I'm like, what do you think we were doing in Cedar Hall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Either way, you're gonna find dicks to suck. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my sisters. Well, my two yeah. sisters are attorneys, so they would have been fine. But I'm happy they went to you and I because they're the reason I went to you and I. There you go. So, is that where you started comedy too, Cedar Falls? Uh, well, so Cedar Falls is you know like a fledgling. Like they would have some open mics and stuff. Okay. But I went to Penguins, which doesn't exist anymore, in Cedar Rapids. Gotcha. Did that you was... enjoy starting comedy there? Was it a fun place to start? I mean, it was. Um, I look back on it, and I'm not like. I don't really have any feeling. You know what I mean? That's perfect it, for a podcast. It just no, it just to have it no is what it is. About it. I like that's, knew that's a great. I answer. knew I wanted to do comedy, <laughs> but I knew I wasn't going to stay there, so I was just kind of like, yes, okay. I I I kind of understand that. I started in Greensboro, North Carolina. We we touched on this. Yeah, but Greensboro was sick. It was the best place to start because it was like there was no. No one, everyone knew we weren't like, it's not like LA. No one's competing to get on TV or anything. We're all just there to like get better at comedy and be funny. So there's no like, oh, fuck you, fuck you kind of competition. It was just like genuine, healthy people getting together, being funny. Doing comedy? I don't believe that. Well, okay. Healthy healthy was a stretch. Healthy was a stretch. It was a bunch of unhealthy people getting together, trying to make ourselves better. And I feel like uh, a lot of people, um, from that scene, like continued on to do good stuff. That, I'm not one of them, but I uh, I loved that I started there. Everyone always asks me, like, do you like starting in a small scene? And I actually think it's better to to start in a scene like that yeah. and learn the basics in that kind of environment than go to New York and be like spit on for eight years. You know, I mean, unless it's something you're into. <laughs> That's true. I no, guess. but like, so I was in Cedar. I was in Iowa, Eastern Iowa. I guess you could call it because I did shows like in Cedar Falls, Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, Waterloo, Marshalltown. Wow, I know the big, the big ones. Uh huh. And then I went to after college. I was like, I'm too good for Iowa. Me and my gay, fabulous ass uh-huh. are going to the going somewhere else. And I moved to Portland, Oregon. Oh hell yeah! And that was a fucking dumpster fire. <laughs> but. <laughs> The only good thing to come Did out of Did you learn that. how to fight? Who am I fighting? The fucking... The, the, they, the, they, them wasn't even a term then, but, like, that's what that <laughs> town is filled with. Like, they, thems, and people I thought who, it was like, like work a mixture three of, hours a week. I thought it was a mixture of, like, some, ma- I don't mountain, know how people live there. mountain people and the they, thems. I thought they were constantly at war in that city. It's so expensive there that the mountain trashy people are probably pushed out. Oh, okay. And they just I don't ride know how the they, thems who days. work five seconds a week. Yeah. Literally, I fucking would be like, do people there have jobs? Which I do that here, by the way. I'm, I work a quick diversion. I work in Boys Town Lakeview, and I'm like, where are these? Why are these people walking in booty shorts at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday? Oh, I get okay. a fucking Thank job. You. So it's not homophobic when I when I see that, and I go, what are you doing in booty shorts at 11 a.m. That's not a okay. Sorry, I can't just go on only you fans also feel and that fucking way. finger my fucking asshole. Thank for money. you. Not that I'm shaming it, but I'm just saying. Some of no, 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 no. Never things. shame. It just it when I you know it's when very I, confusing. I'm like I used to be on my way to the office and I was like, how are these guys doing it? Tight rainbow shorts at 11 a.m. on a Wednesday. Like where are you going? I haven't talked. You're to not going to work. In 15 years. That's why. <laughs> um, but um, I moved to Portland. It was just ugh, it was scary, and like they were like a little ahead of the cancel culture world I think that but they were like canceling each other left and right and this person said this in their set uh, okay. and it was yeah, just yeah, a yeah. lot of that and after five months I was like I'm out five I, months wow. yeah I was like I'm out I see where this is going uh-huh. and it's like this is a waste of my time I bet all your friends in Iowa loved that they were like yeah you moved out and now you oh I felt it. it was uh, I like I um it was right before Thanksgiving. I was like already just like it was a lot. Yeah, and I just wasn't feeling it, and I was very depressed. And I was like, "This was well, not. good for you for not dragging it out." I would have dragged it out for at least no, a couple I years know, and started to I hate knew, myself and everything. Like it wasn't going good. Good for you. And I worked at this law firm with this asshole, and he wasn't gonna let me go home for Thanksgiving. And I literally grabbed my shit and I walked out. <laughs> I was like, that I'm is done. how you treat people if you don't let if they aren't letting you go for a holiday. That, that's not a job anymore. No, it was like a fucking. It was horrible. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, and Fuck I'm that. leaving. Goodbye. And I literally went to my car and called my mom and I said I'm moving home. And she's like, okay, 
Nice. Because my parents moms were like, are the best. My like mom, that. my parents were like, I'm surprised my parents did this because they're such fucking controlling assholes in a really? lot of ways. But I think they were kind of like, fucking, we're gonna let him go and eat cock because yeah. this is what he needs. Not not in the fun way either. Like he needs this, but also in the fun way probably. In the fun. Well, way, I did he, I did some of that, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. no, I think they were like, we're just gonna let him go because they were like, you're dumb, you're not going. I was like, what do you want to? And uh-huh. they're like, okay, fine, go. You're gonna. Sh- that, that was like me in Minnesota. I was like, I'm dumb and I want to stay. And then they're like, okay, fine. And then I was like delivering pizza and sleeping in my car. And I was like, this is bad. I, yeah, I don't in ha- cold I don't Minnesota have- <laughs> weather. Yeah, I don't have to be doing this either. I can go down to North That's Carolina. That was the Portland thing. I was like, I, this isn't – This I don't need to be doing this. Yes, exactly. My whole plan in my 22-year-old head was like, I'll go there and then I'll go to L.A. Okay, that's not a bad plan. But, but it, it has to like – and you have may- to like. You have to enjoy your time. Maybe if I stayed in Portland, that. But I just no. Yeah. I uh, I am a bit. I'm not like a into astrology or dumb shit like that. But I am a big like. Just things just happen, and like. Get into that. What do you mean? Um, like so, the universe. Okay, so, you're a big so universe guy. And like the universe is telling me kind of something. stuff. Or just I'm interested of, in that. I, so then I moved back to Iowa and like I was okay. so depressed and I lived in Cedar Rapids and went uh-huh. to a TV station. And I kind of didn't do comedy that much because I was so bitter and I was like, I don't even want to fucking be here. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. And like I just felt a little lost for a second. Which looking back, I'm like, yeah, you feel lost. You just got out of college. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Like you're feels... supposed. I just remember at graduation, they're like, you're going to do great things, and people were talking about like where they were going to work, and I was like, I'm literally going home to paint my parents garage <laughs> i'm not even becoming a painter I, i'm just doing chores no, for free yeah <laughs> i was like what the fuck is going on on this day yeah college is gra- once i saw that you did college graduation was the saddest day of my life I, <laughs> that's so funny i was so sad well yeah it's the wake-up call literally it's a wake-up call it's like all right it Go was out sad, there, and be I just a person. didn't have a good day. It just was sad. Yeah. I was like, I think I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> and you're wearing the robe and the cap, dude, and you're like, like walking. I want I want this tassel to be 10 feet longer so I can just hang myself. I, it was sad. I was so upset. So and I didn't feel like I accomplished anything. And I Was your just, dad pumped that you graduated college? I don't think my dad. My dad is like a lawyer and like uh-huh. has done so many things. He's like, I don't care. He's just over he's it. He's like, when you're a lawyer and you make this amount of money, <laughs> we can have a pissy match. But until then, I just don't care. So he had you and how many sisters do you have? Three older ones. Yeah, he's done. Oh, three older ones? Yeah, he was exhausted. Yeah. He was tired. Yeah. I feel like my parents were tired. They, I only have one older sister, and they were so tired. They were just like. And we're like spread out. My oldest sister is 40. I'm 30. My oldest sister is 43. Wow. They were having kids for a long time. Mm-hmm. That's exhausting. Yeah. Well, they had my older sister when they were like 20, so they had to wait like five years for their next one. Oh, okay. And then I think they waited another five years. Wow. And then on three. Just to make sure that you guys have the worst No, because they had no fucking money and they were in oh, school. Okay. Yeah, and like, yeah. you know, my dad went to law school and like, they fucking were just trying to survive. So, uh, so they were, what were you like as a kid? Were you like. Faggy. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that that word really hits me in the fucking kidney when you say it like that. It's because you guys what are you, like now you straight used to say it and now you can't. And I, I know it's, it's such it's a great. restricted word. Well, go get fucking fucked behind a photo booth at a gay bar. It's and you can so say close fag- to being worth it. <laughs> I support you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so you were a like a booth. theater kid, and you love. Okay, hold on. Let me take a drink of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, take a big sip. Of black cherry white claw. Edit that out. Um, okay, I wish I was a theater kid. I should have been like in New York at oh, ten me too. with an eating too, disorder doing yes. coke. I should have and been. my mom should have been like Lynn Spears <laughs> and I should have been doing auditions. Uh huh. That's what I should have been doing. <laughs> Instead, my parents do, doing like l- little spots on iCarly here and there. Sure, whatever, yeah. whatever. I work. You could have been get. a repeat character on iCarly. Yeah. You have it. I could have been the faggy kid. Yes, absolutely. Hello. They have some fat kid on there that was that was that was your role. That could have well, been. Well, I was really skinny. So exactly. They could have me be like. Why they, they had that big kid on? I there was hot. Was... Like I definitely could have been. My teeth were a little funky, but I think Miley you had like. Could have got molested for, for Nickelodeon. I'm down. <laughs> Better than what I did. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, I think I could have been. I remember my uh, so I grew up in a small town. I remember yes. 
my my parents' friends lived in Omaha, and their daughter was in like the Omaha Kids Playhouse for the Christmas Carol or some shit. Yeah, and I remember being so jealous. I was like, "Fuck that little bitch! I want to be in the fucking Christmas Carol." Yeah, I was like, "She's not even that charming." You or never fun. vocalized that. You never was. It really- I live in Holstein, Iowa. There's nothing going on there. My father is a lawyer. My mom's a nurse. Yeah, the they only think community- they're gonna get off work and take me to the fucking <laughs> Omaha Playhouse an hour and a half away. Damn. No, no. There's no community theater in small town Iowa. Well, now I can wait. We'll say this about my. There's. They have more stuff in Holstein now that than when I was a kid. Oh, okay. So they do have like theater camp, but it still probably was douchey. Yeah. Because it's because we did get a nice big theater that I got to use once. There you go. What were you? What role? Uh, I was always in the plays. I never did the musicals because I can't sing. Okay. But um, but if I could sing, it would be over for everybody. But um, because I should, like I said, I should have been a pop star. But I feel that way too, though. If I could sing, people would. I mean, yeah, it would be fucked up if I could sing. Yeah, I'd be amazing. Yeah, and um, but I can't. So I was like in the spring play. I think I was like fag number three or something. I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember? I still remember my role in. Literally, that. don't remember. It was about some fucking. It was so dumb. I would. I did Alice in Wonderland in fifth grade, and I was the caterpillar, and I fucking crushed it. I loved it so much. But I was I, I don't know. It, it's something. I don't know what it is. But as a kid, you don't you don't think like that. You don't think like, oh, I like this. I want to continue this. You're just like, no, I'm a soccer player and I play soccer and that's what I do and I like tag, and you don't think like, oh, I actually enjoyed being on the play. Maybe I should look into like performing stuff more. No, or... I was like, I should be on MTV. <laughs> that's one of the yeah. But you're like, I live in VJs Iowa, so you know. Shaking my ass in Cancun. That's what I should be doing. You should have been. Absolutely. Like when I was nine, I was like, I should be doing that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you should I, I should be on Spring I break. literally remember watching it and being like, I should be doing that. Fuck school. Why am I not on this show right now? And and how did your dad get to where he was? Like how did he get to be a lawyer? Did he grow up in that same town in Iowa? No, he grew up in Sioux City. The town I grew up in is about 40 minutes outside Sioux City. Okay. It's thriving. Yeah. That was our city growing up, was Sioux City. Sioux City, like South a- Dakota? Iowa, bitch. <laughs> South Dakota is literally right over the river. Oh, okay. But South they Dakota, also has, have Iowa. a city called Sioux, Sioux Falls. Si- oh, Sioux Falls. Sioux Falls. That sounds very nice. That sounds much better than Sioux City. Sioux Falls? Sioux Falls, is like, their mall is lit. We would it's go- such a sad conversation. I know, but we would know their mall is lit though. It's like a mall of America, but not so aggressive. I love the Mall of America. Why? Because it's su- it's a it's every it's it's fucking the, it's the whole country in one building. It's beautiful. It's 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 capitalism. It's dirty. It's disgusting. Ugh. There's there's uh I I um the people in there are all so gross. Oh yeah, exactly. It's horrible. I mean. I'm not saying, like, I love it as in, like, I love to be there. I love it as an idea. It is the mall of America. They've got a shitty theme park that steals your money. They've got all these corporations that are, you know, sucking money from all the the, um, (laughs) the dumb fat people. They don't recycle there, by the way. So everything just gets thrown away. No, they have some shitty reality show about the security team. They do? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Everything horrible about this country goes on in that mall. That's why the food court is fucking not floors. that great. No, by no, no. The way. Well, the main food court ain't bad, but they got like other restaurants in there that I'm not impressed. The comedy club in there. I, that's where I always spent a lot of my time. The House of Comedy. Yeah, I, I had never been to the Mall of America until I moved to Min- Minneapolis. I'd been to Minneapolis a bunch of times. My parents were like, "We're not like my parents are like." Well, yeah, your parents are probably like, "No, we're gonna go get a nice steak or whatever." Yeah. And, and listen to piano. Maybe. That's what I think lawyers do. I think they drive around in Lexuses and listen to like soft piano. My dad's had a Honda since. That's fucked he up. He bought his f- first brand you, new car. That lawyer. my sister what are you crashed doing in by a the Honda? way. He's my dad's very practical. He drives it. Drives a nice Honda truck. He gets a new one every two years. I think he's fine. Yeah. Oh well, that's that's. No, I'm sure my dad could have all that stuff. He just didn't want it. Your sister crashed it. Yeah. How did she do that? She was like, I think she was. Um, she like turned wrong on a light or something, and this is the ironic part of it all. Uh-huh. She's in Sioux City looking for a car. She was like <laughs> in law school or about to be in law school. My oldest. How many one. lawyers have you got over there? A, a couple. And you're a. Comedian? I'm like OJ. I have a whole team. 
Um, oh. My sisters, my two older ones are lawyers. My dad's a lawyer. Fuck. And my dad's family, he's one of miserable. six. Five of them are lawyers. Jesus my dad's, Christ. My dad, my grandfather was a lawyer. Yeah. They had a lot of narcissistic assholes. And you're you're giving your closing statement on stage. Yeah. Maybe. Well, my sister sells jeans out of the her garage. My That's, other one. So I hope oh, she takes the like brunt of it. Like stolen jeans or like jeans? No. She made? It's like it's like um, it's like good used clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she makes like decent money. Okay. I mean, she did. She, she like, like one of those TikTok to be... entrepreneurs. No. Okay. She just like does it. She moved back to my little hometown. Yeah. And like she just does it. Sells jeans out of her garage. Yeah. Does it have a sign? Like Dolly's. Um, I think she has. A, I think she has a sign like in her little. But she's not like. Serious. It's called. I should give her a plug. Yes. Even though you can't use it because it's literally only for the surrounding community to listen. They'll be tuning in. It's trust called me. Restore. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> You're terrible. Restore terrible what brother. you wore, I think, or something. We call we call it restore the whore. Restore the as a family, you call that. Yeah, my sister's trying it to build because it's trying to build your sister well, back up. It sounds like restore. It's restore what you wore, I believe. Oh, okay. And it just I one day said restore. it is really close to whore. Yeah, restore the whore. <laughs> So did you ever get in trouble with your dad, like when you were a kid, like really bad? Did, did he ever get seriously like upset yeah. with you? Oh yeah? My dad is like a real hard ass. Do you remember like a like a defining moment? Like when did you get in the most trouble when you were a kid? What, we need to like break it up. Okay. When I was a kid kid? Uh, I mean, I was a pretty good kid, but I'd get trouble like if I was, you know, I lived in a town where you could just bike and just fucking, okay, yeah. just back I before did too. kids like, Sat on their asses on their iPads. Yeah. So I would buy. I remember like one time I was four. I was, which I was really young. Four. I, I was like biking around, and I came home like as the street lights were coming on, and my parents were fucking. I mean, my dad would like spank us. Like, yeah. My dad was hardcore. Like, if if we pissed him off or something, he would like make us kneel on the floor. Okay. He's like he went to Catholic school. He's very into like being tortured. And yeah. Shit. I see. He's okay. fucked up. And he he's upset that he got a gay son. Exactly. I'm like you 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 laid the groundwork. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm never making my son. I, I'm. He I've was decided. an asshole. He would like throw water. I never got water in the face, but I think all water my sisters, in the face. Yeah, like so you're sitting here and you just like yeah, yeah. He's abusive. We should turn him in so he loses his law license. <laughs> um, he would throw remotes at me. At all of us. By the way, I will say this about my dad. Um. Water in the face is such a. It bitch was equal move. opportunity. That's like a. That's like he's a, a bitch. Yeah. He's a fat baby bitch. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. He's a fucking bitch. This no, is why I asshole. wanted you to drink. He's an we, need, we need people to loosen up on here. Good. I mean, uh, I would have said this. But. So, what about like teenage years? What did you do to get in trouble? Like, were you I sneaking mean, out? Were you partying? Um, I only got in trouble like once or twice, but um, nothing you know crazy. I mean. Yeah, one time I got in real bad trouble, but I don't want to talk about what happened because it was kind of not cool. But I got my ass whooped. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, my parents were really big about like grades and shit, and they're okay. boomers, so they don't know. Like at our school, like they would literally put every assignment on the thing. And like, let's say, oh, let's oh, did you have Power School, bitch? What Whoever invented Power School, I'm oh, fucking power coming school. for you. And I wonder if that's the same thing as uh, what we had, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was like online. Um, My parents checked that bitch religiously. Yeah, yeah, like your online grades and shit. And, and so, like, like, let's say there's like a thing out of five, and you got like three. That's a fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would My show mom up as would be a like, D. you failed. Right. And I'd be like, bitch, it, that's one thing out of five points. Yeah. And yeah, I wasn't yeah, yeah. paying attention because I just wasn't. Like, it was like a daily assignment worth five points, and I got two of the questions wrong. And it yes. says D, but it's not worth anything. Yeah, that got. Me and my family still talk about my mom checking the, and I can't remember the fucking name of the website. It's driving me crazy. But she'd go on this website, and there was one time she called me upstairs, and my sister was in the same room for, this It shouldn't have been allowed, but my sister was watching me getting yelled at for my grades, and my mom was going through the list, and then she'd go, she'd like say the name of the assignment or whatever, she'd be like, daily reading, A, daily assignment, A, oh God. test, I F, F, and then she kept like, like getting closer to my face and like getting close, you know, just being like F, F, and my sister oh. got in on it too, and they were like chanting what together. Bit. My sister did some, my sister. I, such old sisters, they did some shitty. Sh older sister, see, everyone always talks about like, oh, d you didn't have an older brother, like you don't know how to fight or whatever. It's like, okay, sure, but I can take some fucking mental abuse, dude, because older uh, sisters are horrific. I cried. My sister, one of my sisters cracked my head open three times. 
Oh, God. So, like, my sisters were cunty. <laughs> Abusive. Again, like, how do you how do you expect you to be straight? If you exactly. got a dad making you kneel throwing water in your face and you got three sisters fucking cracking your head open? While, like, Janet Jackson's playing? Yeah, it makes no <laughs> sense. Like, you're surprised? <laughs> So you would get into fights with your sister? Yeah, I mean, one of them like is kind of manly. Fights? I mean, yeah. she's like Caitlyn Jenner. She can, she's really tall, and yeah. she was, she's has some mental limitations. Uh huh. And she can lose her temper, and she would like throw shit at me, or tackle me, or punch me, or hit me in the face, or throw shit at me. Holy like she was a bitch. Shit. She was awful. And now one of her kids is kind of a nightmare, and I'm like, fucking good. Boom. I hope she's horrible. That's what happens. I hope she slaps you right across your fucking face. <laughs> well, you deserve it. And my parents are like, same, because she was awful to my parents, too. She just was a bad kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was fucking perfect. Well. I did sneak out, though, but I didn't get, didn't get caught. There you go. And now, and like now you're not a lawyer, though. I feel like that's a they've got all those lawyers. Whatever. Whatever. Like, I'm, I don't want to be a lawyer. Good for you. It looks horrible. Like, yeah, you can make a lot of money, but, like, your life's not fun. One of my sisters is a lawyer in Des Moines, runs her own law firm, and she's fucking, she just talks about oh, I can't about imagine. Her. And people are just like, is this done? Is this done? Is yeah, this done? Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. like, fuck off. Right. How about that? Yeah, it's not fun. Well, uh, Riley, is there anything you want to plug before we head out of here? Oh, is that it? That's it, baby. Oh, we didn't even get to any of my dad stories. I mean, we tickled on. I was, I was trying, dude. I was trying oh. to tease it out oh. of you a little bit. Oh, fuck. It's okay. No, we did good. We did good. We had some yucks. We yeah. didn't really get into how many times you know, you've been fisted. I That's... haven't been fisted. Okay. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Just letting everybody know. This seems to be a hot button issue. Pre-pod, I asked him how many times he's been fisted, and he was like, let's wait till the... You know, that is, <laughs> you know what? For the podcast, I'll say Yes. <laughs> That is what he said. No, I mean, I, I grew up with a very, like, I like my dad would, um, I'd introduce him to people. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember at college graduation, I was like, Dad, this is my friend's mom. And he goes, oh, it's nice to see you with your shirt on. And the lady was like, and I was just like, do you understand now why I'm so fucking weird? Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> and of course, that gr lady's husband is dying laughing. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah She's yeah. just like, and my friend is howling. My friends, there was like an infamous with my college friends. They came to my lake house. <laughs> um, that is, and yeah. by my lake house, I mean my parents that I use because I have like four. I knew you didn't own a lake. I house. don't own anything actually. <laughs> um, thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> and um, they all obviously met me at college, and they're like, "This kid's, you know, a little eccentric." And then they met my parents, and they were like. We got it. Uh -huh. Like, no more explanation. I mean, my mom was not behaving well. She's talking about the sex life. She told everyone my dad has a small penis. Oh, like, my she was God. It was a, it was a, for someone like me who says crazy Do shit. Do moms get really sexually open with their gay sons? Like, does she talk, talk to you about no. sex? Oh, I would okay. literally be like, it's horrible. You're out of control. Okay. I didn't know if that happened. You're getting a lot. sent to the home. No, she was just like make, <laughs> saying things and popping her pussy. My friends, like, I remember your mom. My mom was dancing and she popped her pussy. I don't know where she learned that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's On a the, boat, by the way. It's always just, with the college friends. I don't know why parents. Well, think I think they I'm they the youngest. So I think after my left, my, my parents maybe just were like whooping it up. Yeah. They were like, Good let's see what Molly's all about. Fucking bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my mom is like lame. She did acid or something once in like 1975. <laughs> yeah. And she said she like, it was not good. So she said she's never doing hallucinations. So now she, she won't smoke pot anymore. She was like she's... in some like forest in Sioux City uh -huh. as a stoner at high school. And they did acid and she was like hallucinating and shit. Yeah, that's what I was it's like, supposed yeah, to Yeah, that's do. the point. Yeah. But she said it was bad. She's like, no, this wasn't fun. It I've was like there. a, yeah. I've been there too. So, acid cannot be fun and it's too long. It's 12 hours. I did acid mushrooms. and went to Valley Fair. Do mushrooms. <gasps> Get out of here. I did Xanax and went to Valley Fair. That's nothing. No, you should, everyone Xanax should more, do Xanax. No. Yeah, that's not good. It, that it, should, was just it just makes you calm. Yeah. It wasn't uh, yeah, as fun I thought as everything was breaking. I thought every ride was going to break down. Did you go on the wild thing? Yeah. And when we were going up the thing, there was a plane like like coming to the airport. Yeah. And my friend and I, who was also an acid, we were like, it's going to hit us. <laughs> it's going to hit us. Like, the, I don't, like, it's going to hit us. It was bad. And then I you know that Valley ride Fair. where you crank all the way up to the top and then they Power tower. You? Yeah. I went on the power tower and I was like, 
the seats breaking. I literally was like grabbing. That would be horrible on acid now that I think about it. Being it was, levitated like hundreds of feet in the air. And then I went home and just laid in my bed for nine hours. Yeah. I had to call work. And it's it was just fun. like, hey, Arnold characters. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> they were like, vroom, vroom, vroom. It was like, it was fucking football head. Football head and the girl and like the African-American character and all the people. Gerald. I think there was some, yeah, Gerald. I remembered his name. Yeah, I didn't. Because I'm good. I have brain damage. I don't, but... um. <laughs> There was also some like like it was like Nickelodeon with a, a lot of Hey Arnold. That's crazy. It was fucking weird. That's so funny. And I literally texted my supervisor and I was like, I did acid yesterday. I can't come into work. And she like was That's like, a cool job. And she wrote me and she goes, This is why your parents raised you in a little <laughs> town. So you don't do that. So I was like, Well, too late. So what do you when are you doing Sisyphus this weekend? So I don't know when you're posting that. Oh uh, shit! I I could post it on Friday for you. I'm not like a big name person. I'm really not anything big name person. So I don't know what to. What about okay? What I'm doing, if I I'm doing it the week after you're at Sisyphus. So what, what do you got? Honestly, nothing. That's and I'm okay. So excited about it. That's good. Um, what about your Instagram handle? My Instagram is Riley underscore underscore Cosgrove because some little fucking bitch in Boston has Riley Cosgrove, and I'm gonna find her. And it's she, a her. It's a her, and I've been battling with her since she was like 12. So she's probably like 20 now because <laughs> I want it. That's fucked up. Like, get your own name. I yeah. was born first, and yeah, yeah, yeah. you're a girl. So bow to me. I'm a man. That's how the world works. Double. Riley, like double problem. score, double underscore, 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 Cosgrove. Cosgrove, look him up. He's at Sisyphus. It used to be Riley Cosgrove Whenever comedy, but I didn't think I was a good enough comic to like. There's no threshold. Mm. You can put comedy whenever you want, baby. Ask the straight guys in the scene. <laughs> They're the ones that control it all. <laughs> That's not true. I don't control anything. Well, not you. <laughs> Riley, thank you. Thank, thank you for you. coming in. And it was great to meet you, man. This was yeah. fun. This was a blast. Let's be friends. Let's be friends. Okay. All right. Peace, everybody. Hey, guys, you just listened to another episode of Fuck You, Dad. Uh, If you could follow us on our Instagram, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D podcast. That's the important one. Uh, We also have a Twitter account, which is F-C-K-Y-O-U-D-A-D-P-O-D-C-A-1. If you could follow that. Also, uh, please submit any father stories that you have that you'd like us to uh, make fun of, laugh at, or share, uh, shoot that to our Instagram DMs. And if you could please uh, go ahead and rate the podcast, share the podcast with uh, your friends and family that might enjoy it, and keep listening. Thank you so much.